Hey, what's up guys? Ghoul Brothers here out at the Vortex Edge Range with Adrian. And Adrian's gonna be teaching us a little bit about long range shooting and more specifically, wind effects and calling wind on our long range shots. Yeah, so first things we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over some real quick uh, fundamental shooting position review. Uh, we're gonna make sure that these guns are dialed in, we've got the good dope and, and all that stuff before we uh, get into the wind. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we got the gun set up to fit us right. Now what are we on to? So we're gonna confirm zeros and then we're going to uh, hook up a magneto speed here and check our muzzle velocities and that's gonna get us our initial data that we're gonna put into our ballistic calculators. So that's why we're going through this whole setup to make sure the rifles are shooting spot on. Yep. Right? Yep. We know we're accurate and then we're gonna start uh, getting it dialed in for wind. Exactly. Yep. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna take the data that the Kestrels gave us after we plugged in our muzzle velocities and we're actually gonna confirm that out to distance. And then what we'll do is we'll go back into the Kestrel and if we see any discrepancies, we'll uh, do what's called truing our data to make sure that everything matches up and then we'll be good to go. Walking down range to check out our shots. Of course, we can see them through the spotting scope, but we'll show you that we're dialed in. We got our friend Jojo here, who is the resident pheasant and likes to peck feet and ankles and uh hey, up. he looks friendly but he's out for blood as you can see right here three shots pretty much all touching this is at 100 yards Aaron's a little bit loose there but you know what do you expect so since we haven't discussed wind yet as we are truing our data i'm going to be making your wind calls as best i can okay all right so there's a couple different terms i might use to get you guys on target all right if this is our plate here i may simply if i say hold center pretty straightforward, put your crosshairs in the center of the target. If I say favor left, it just means I want you to slide your crosshairs over, kind of split the difference between the edge of the plate and uh, in the center. I might give you a actual mill correction. Inside your scopes, you have your crosshairs, but you'll see the finest stadia lines are 0.2 mils, okay? okay? So if I am telling you to hold 0.2 left, okay, so that would be this first um, stadia line. I'd want you to put that 0.2 mark right in the center of the target. I am gonna give you the direction that I want you to hold, mm -hmm. not the direction the wind's blowing or anything that I want the bullet to go, the direction I want you to hold. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Trickiest kind of winds to shoot in are what we're shooting in right now. It's either a headwind or a tailwind because okay. just a little bit of a wind change is gonna shift our holds left or right. Um, now, now if you have a straight headwind, yeah. how much does that have an impact? If it's a true straight headwind, yeah. really shouldn't have any okay. pack. We call that a zero value wind for right. the most part. Same okay. thing with a tailwind. All right, Steve, go ahead. I want you to hold just off that left edge. Roger. Good hit, centered up real nice. One mil wind. Yep, missed it right. 1.2 wind. Give me a 0.8 left to center. Elevation was good, we were right. So now we got this data, we wanna consistently, as best we can, make shots out at a thousand yards. Wind is a huge factor in that. Yep. So now what are we gonna start looking at as far as making wind calls out of this distance? Yeah, so a bunch of things we gotta look at. Now that we got the data, we know what we have to hold for our elevation. There's a whole bunch of different stuff we need to uh, start looking at. And when it comes to wind, experience is really your best, your best bet. The first thing we need to figure out is we need to figure out what direction the wind is coming from, okay? Um, and it could be, again, a headwind, a tailwind, it could be a full value wind, so coming from the left or the right, or it could be kind of quartering away from us. So basically, if I'm gonna estimate that the wind is, let's say the wind is uh, at four miles an hour, okay? Mm -hmm. if, if the wind is at a 90 degree angle at four miles per hour, I'm gonna call it a full value wind, all right? I'm gonna count for all four of those miles per hour. Right. If it's coming at a bit of an angle here where I'm saying I think it's a three quarter value wind, um, it's not gonna have as much effect on my bullet. So instead of four, I'm gonna say, you know what, three quarters of that, we're gonna call it a three mile an hour wind. Right. And that's what I'm going to take account uh, into account if I'm either doing it on my Kestrel, uh, my ballistic uh, binoculars, uh, like my Furies, or if I'm doing a calculation in my yeah. mind. And then same thing, just off, if we're at a little bit of an angle, like a 30 degree angle here, we're gonna call that about a half value wind. That's 
the start of it. That's the easy, there's more? That's the easy that's part. The easy there's part, more. Right? But wait, there's more. <laughs> Let's say the wind's coming into us here. If the wind were water, how would the water flow over that terrain? Mm -hmm. Okay, and as I'm looking at downrange here, we have kind of some hills to our right, a hill out in front of us. So I can imagine that water, wind is going to come over that hill. It's going to kind of duck down. And then as it you know comes along this hill to the right, the hill opens up. So I'm probably going to get some wind pushing to the right there, which is why we might see those wind flags going to the right when other ones are going a different direction. So, I think yeah. that's a real good uh, visual is how does water flow down there. I didn't think of that when yeah. I was looking out here. So yeah. I got an idea. All right, you I like me, it. You tell me what you think of okay. this. What if I get on the gun, Aaron's on the spotting scope, and he's going to make the wind call. That's and excellent. you coach him on helping him make the good wind call. And then once we get a good accurate shot, we'll do a switch. The best way to learn how to call wind is experience. So yeah. you got to get behind the glass. You got to get behind the gun and do it. So I like it. Sounds good. So. Standing here, what direction is the wind coming from? I'd say three-quarter value. Okay, yep, exactly. If we're shooting straight down. Here. Correct, yep, yep. So wind's coming just a little bit left to center, you know, and kind of check it with the grass. Obviously, we can feel it in our yep. face, right? So if you remember that chart I put up there, give me uh, an estimate of value or a range, what you think that wind is like right now. I would say it's somewhere between six and seven at the moment. Okay, yep. I think that sounds pretty good. I'd say like four to six, five four to seven, six, something okay. like that is kind of coming up and down, all right? Yep. So what we can do is go ahead and flip that up. But now I'm go. at five. Okay. I'm at five there. So that's yep. pretty good. Elevation 12.3, wind 1.1, 1.2. Okay. So that's gonna give us a place to start. To start, now we have to figure out what value and... Exactly, we're gonna look at other things. Okay, is there some wind coming from the right? Is there some wind coming from different directions? Or, you know, uh, how is it changing? It gives us a starting point. All right. Well, that is really confusing for uh, never looking at this many flags uh, before because all of them are doing something different. Make a call. Give them a call. Let's see what happens. That's how we learn. It's only ammo. All right, Steve. Uh, left hold. Uh, go point eight. Okay. High. Left, left to right. That was good, but it was high. And these are about the most difficult wind conditions you can you can shoot or spot in right now because it's just back and forth. Yeah. It's kind of coming into us. It's left, it's right, it's left, it's right. And it doesn't hold for very long. Exactly. Yep. All right. What do you think now? I'm saying left to right at point 0.8. All right. Go for it. So I'm, holding, I'm holding left point 0.8. Yes. There it Got is. it. Impact on the left edge, nice job. I'd say the wind's more than four miles an hour out there, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would say... Well, it's not a full value wind. It's not a full value. Somewhere between six and eight, maybe? Yeah, probably, yep. Okay, so if we do half value, we'd maybe say three mil left hold. Point three, yep, point, on the yeah, low point, end. Point three, yeah. Point three on the low end, maybe up to about point six, point eight, maybe on the high end. So let's go point five, point five mil left hold. You're low about 0.5, Aaron. Now I can definitely feel it in the left side of my face. The 700 yard burn flag's going hard to the, well, now it's quartering, but it's going to the right. I still say hold a mil left. There, there we, we go. go. There we got a hit. Nice hit. Nice job. Tricky, there's a lot going on, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, there is. Fun seeing that steel ring out there. There's so many things going at once. There you, is. It's not just like, Oh, pull the trigger. We know what we're doing. It's like things are constantly changing. That makes it uh, a very dynamic experience to yeah, absolutely try to get on target. Well, I tell you what, Adrian, Aaron and I have done a little bit of long range shooting. It's never seemed as easy as you made it seem oh, well. with good coaching. And like, that's my encouragement to the folks watching is that when you have someone that knows what they're talking about, can walk you through it, Getting on those targets, what seems, what can seem impossible when you're by yourself and you're missing, you don't know what you need to do to make those corrections, you're just burning through ammo. Just this short amount of time that we spent on the range together was invaluable. Yes, it you was know, fantastic. Huge awesome. shout out to you and the, the Vortex Edge team. Incredible opportunities to come to Vortex Edge, whether it's the indoor facilities, which we showed in one of our prior videos, check that out or whether you come out and do the long range classes and you're out here at Coon Rock. You want to come do some long range shooting, get some good coaching, I recommend it. Highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger, send it down range, and shoot for your dreams. See ya.